Hey y'all, Rick Fairless. Fearless, fearless. Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage. Good morning. How you doing all right? Today is flip it. Uh, hold on, I know this one. Yeah. Wednesday, June 19, 2024, year of our Lord, season number two, episode number 171. In today's show, we will cover Tulsa, we will cover Squirrel, we will cover Venus. Yes, I said Venus. Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in a powerful CHUMP studio. Today's show is brought to you by a Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then wear a $100 helmet. But if your head is priceless like mine, wear a Simpson because they're the best. We are a dealer. Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Love to see you in a Simpson. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back, 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 back in 1982. 1982, I had just bought a brand new Harley Davidson FXE Super Glide shovel head. That's when the shovel head was still the state of the art motor. So I was working at the paint store at Roach Paint, and one of the painters, now remember, remember, 1982, before the internet. One of the painters said, Rick, there's a big flat track races coming up in Tulsa this weekend. You going? And I said, there are, and he said, yeah. They're at the uh, Speedway or whatever the track was called. I said, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, I'd love to go. I love flat track. He said, you ought to go. So I called my brother Rand, I called my buddy David Allen, and I said, there's big flat track races this weekend in Tulsa. Y'all want to ride our bikes out there? We did. We rode our bikes to Tulsa, had a good ride out there. Got to a gas station. This was back in the days where you could talk to the gas station attendants. They spoke the same language as you. Plus, that was the norm is getting directions from the gas station or the filling station we used to call them. Gassed up. We all go inside there, get a soda water. I asked the guy, I said, where's the track where they have the flat track races? And he said, Oh yeah, it's uh, you go down here and he's telling me all this and I'm writing it down. And he said, what are you going out there for? And I said, the flight track races. And he said, yeah man, they were last weekend and they were cool. That Terry Poovy and my kid. And my brother looked at me and David Allen looked at me. And I said, are you sure they were last weekend? And he said, I was there. I just remember David Allen saying, you're buying supper. Rand said, you're buying the beer. And I said, the guy told me it was this weekend. But we had a great trip up there. Tulsa's a nice city. Uh, almost to the Kansas border up there. And it was a good trip to uh, take my new Harley on. We enjoyed it very much. That's what happened before the internet. You couldn't just Google something. There was no such thing as Google. It was tough back then. It was a different world. All right, let's check that truck. Check that truck. You better. Woo hoo 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 hoo! Look at you, big shot. 
Yeah, I don't like the black brag or black. These are checkered board, but they're weaved. You got white and yellow and green and blue and purple and red and orange and kind of cool, huh? Solid white logo. I think I'd have done something different there. Dirty white toe, dirty white sole. One racing stripe, red, no vent hose, rojo shoestrings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, all these are some handsome chucks. Okay, you want to check Rick's office? Uh, yeah. Let's go right here. So that's an armband from, from when Arlen Ness died and we had a celebration of life for him there in California. What I'd like to say about Arlen Ness is if you were a custom motorcycle guy, he was your God. He was the king. And the cool thing about Arlen Ness is he was a class act. I used to tell people he was the Tom Landry of the motorcycle industry. He was a class act. And one of the cool things is his son, Corey, is just as much a class act as his dad. And I'm proud to call them both friends. Okay, let's check Grandma's calendar, 19th. Okay, that's a flipper. 75 years ago today, June 1949, 19th. Chelmer started cutting Harry's wheat. Ruth came this evening. Max stayed all night. That's on a Sunday night. I wonder who Chelmer is. Started cutting Harry's wheat. Okay, so we got that. That's a lot of work for a Sunday. How about a dead joke? How do you catch a squirrel? You climb in a tree and act like a nut. We have squirrels in our backyard and they torment my dogs. So the, the, the curtains will be open, you know, so the dogs can look out there and if they see a squirrel, they they pop up like that, their ears pop up and they're just staring them down. And they'll ease off there and they'll go to the window. Then they'll scratch on that back door and I let them out, and they go out there nice and slow. And when they get close to that squirrel, that squirrel jumps in a tree and he's gone. They torment those dogs. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Impress people with your soul, not your stuff. What does that mean, Rick Fearless Fearless? That means you be you. That means be the best version of you that you can be. That means don't worry about everybody else. You just worry about you. That's what mom used to tell us. You just worry about you. What about mom? He's a... Don't worry about him. You just worry about you. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know that Venus is the only planet that spins clockwise? So if that's the only planet that's spinning clockwise, then the other planets are spinning counterclockwise which maybe makes for a reason why I get dizzy sometimes you know when you get to be my age and older that help I've fallen and can't get up ain't so funny no more it ain't so funny okay it's Wednesday night that's karaoke it's always a good time why don't you come out and uh, try that uh, if you've never eaten here, the food is great. We got one of the best hamburger or cheeseburgers in DFW, deli sandwiches, chicken wings. It's a fun place. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless, I got to go. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.